caught my wife texting another man, secretly complimenting him and planning meetups. Found out in a ridiculous way, she was texting the guy across the couch from me, acting secretive and partially hiding the screen with her hand. Something so strange that I went inspector gadget with my phone camera and quietly zoomed in from where I was sitting. It was a bit blurry, but I could make out the text of my wife complimenting another man for his take charge attitude and how attractive that it is and how much she loves that about him. He is texting back that she's sexy too when they exchange blush and kiss emojis. They go on to make small chat about each other's dream vacation plans. She comments that I never want to sew anything and he laughs at what a loser I am. My heart was pounding out of my chest as I tried to not react while reading this. We were living together for 12 years, married for one. Would have married earlier if COVID didn't delay things. I'm retired from the military with disability from some overseas stuff and have been going back to school while going through therapy. I will admit to having issues like night terrors, anxiety, being moody, negative sometimes. I have been doing weekly therapy to work on this stuff. I've never done anything abusive towards her, but I can understand that having a personality like that can be a drag to be around. I've always tried to love her and give her everything she asked for. We have a house together. My family saw and treated her as a second daughter. I was close with her parents. I cooked seven days a week for her. I'd set up her foot soaker for her when she had a long day at work. Would make sure I made her tea just right in the morning. She started a new job last spring. I thought things were going great. We were both moving in a positive direction. I was going to school. She was moving up in her career. In hindsight, I missed so many warning signs. Taking up a new hobby, violin. Starting to get more dressed up for work. Wearing perfume, when she never did before. Wearing jewelry to work, when previously this was something she only did on special occasions. Turns my stomach a bit. Looking back at the times she asked me to help her put on a necklace I got before work. Knowing now she was wearing it to look nice for some other guy. I was so blind and dumb. After I read the sexy time exchange, I confronted her immediately. Really dumb, I know, but I was being emotional instead of calculating. I was in shock. I didn't become enraged, but I demanded to know the truth. Everything. She panicked, started crying, making things up, trying to downplay it all. It was just texting. She never met him, blah blah. For the last week she has been trickle-truthing it out to me. While she deleted the messages and refuses to tell me the name of a P, she admitted that it was somebody she met who works in the same building her new job is at. Supposedly he approached her and asked for her number. She said she had been feeling lonely, so she gave it to him. He is also married and has kids. Apparently they bonded by complaining about their mutually horrible marriages. She says they would meet for lunch or sometimes hang out in the parking lot. She says they only kissed. I asked if they ever met for one-on-one -on -one time outside of that, and she became evasive and wouldn't give a straight answer. I can only assume there has been more than kissing. This has turned my entire life upside down. I've never been a big crier, but I've been spending quite a bit of time quiet crying into the pillow. I haven't told any of my family yet, but I believe I will do so tomorrow. As far as forgiveness goes, that might be possible one day. But I think that this marriage is over. It's so hard to believe that someone you saw as a soulmate could ever do this. Some relevant comments. When your wife said they only kissed, it's likely they had sex already. Cheaters always minimize the scope of their cheatings to make them seem less serious. Make sure to tell all your families and friends about her affair and get it all out of your chest. The fact that she is refusing to name her AP shows that she is trying to protect him from you. Try to find her AP by your phone account and contact his partner to let her know about the affair. See a shark divorce lawyer and know all your options. It will take time, but you will heal and move on, so take good care of yourself first. All the best. I feel as well that there has been more than just kissing. Her non-answers when I ask what happened when they were alone together speak volumes. I'll do some investigating and do what I can to discover who this guy is. It is definitely eating me up not knowing. Thank you for your insight. Don't waste your time trying to find out who it is. I recommend speaking to a lawyer as soon as possible, but don't tell her your plan. She'll lie and gaslight you. She's probably already told him that you found out and is cooling off their relationship until things between the two of you are back to normal. It's only been one year of marriage, please get out now. Don't think of how great a person she was before cheating, she isn't that person anymore. It's not worth it to stay with this woman. You deserve better. First of all, don't accept the blame shifting and finger pointing. This is what happens all the time. A guy comes up and show the affection of a wannabe prospect faking it all. The wife finds the NRE and starts finding unnecessary faults in her husband. This is a story as old as the wheel. Lol, let me tell you this. When people cheats, they create this delusion in their mind that their partners are lacking. 
This is to justify the cheating part. Happens all the time. Now in most of these posts I see one thing common. The husband rug sweeping because they are gaslighted so badly that they believe it to be true. Why else would she cheat? Maybe I came short. And then they convince themselves that if they do the pick me dance, unknowingly, she will come back. Biggest mistake ever. This is helpful to hear, thank you. She has been giving me those kind of reasons, like I haven't been present enough as a partner, and I didn't give her the physical attention she desired. She said he was making her feel attractive and wanted again. It meant nothing, you're the one I really love. Gut-wrenching to hear that stuff. It is hard not to feel like you are deficient as a person. All I can think is that she has been ignoring me for months. I have been practically begging her to talk or spend time with me. But there was always work in the way. Or something she had planned to do with friends. I've been waiting months for her to start Baldur's Gate 3 with me. FFS, lol. Should have just tried single player. Check your phone account. It will show the numbers she is texting. Then call it and get his name. The next step tell his wife. Burn his crap down. First term your wife you are going to speak with a lawyer. Tell her by not giving you his name she is once again picking him over you. She is protecting him over your marriage and your feelings. And you can't stand that. Yell her the only way you would consider moving past their cheating is to pick you over him. She needs to tell you who he is. Find his spouse and inform her together. And talk to HR at work about them having an inappropriate relationship and need to have very limited contact. She can comply and work on your marriage, or you will divorce her and do all that without her. Also if talk to her parents and see if they can talk some sense into her. They may help you convince her. Unfortunately she has her devices locked with a pin code that I do not know. I don't know her pins because I never cared to snoop in her business in the past. I've always given her privacy and space because I had absolute trust. I did do some googling to see if there was a way around the pin lock. But it seems like you have to wipe the phone with these more recent devices, encryption. I told her that it is not negotiable, and that I need to know his name. I asked her how she could even think I would be okay with her going back to work there, when I would constantly be wondering if this or that co-worker was a P. She started crying and told me she is afraid I will use this info to hurt her. I promise that I just want to know for my own soul, that she owes me that much respect, but she refuses to relent so far. As far as AP goes, I can't promise that I don't have a desire to hurt him. My knees and back aren't what they used to be, but I think I would be pretty motivated, especially in light of how he talked about me and knew we were married. Physical revenge would probably feel the most cathartic, but I would also settle for contacting his wife, place of work. I talked to her parents again this morning, but all they keep saying how sweet she really is deep down and that they don't understand this. I don't know if they know, but they didn't give me much info either. Understandable that they would be on the side of their daughter. When I get home later I'll do some snooping around. Update. When I came home from scheduled maintenance at the car dealer at around 11am, she was already in the shower. She had taken her phone into the bathroom with her, but had left the iPad I had given her unlocked on the bed in the guest room. I picked it up and saw a bunch of text messages between her and her friends. She was telling them she was living in the guest room now and how jealous that was making me. What the F? I asked her to sleep there. They were sending her back stuff like, F that guy, live your life, you go find yourself, that kind of thing. I didn't see any messages from AP. The shower turned off so I had to stop looking. She came out and saw I had used the iPad and accused me of spying more. I told her I just need to know the truth. I said, just look me in the eye and tell me you didn't sleep with him. She refused to and looked away. I said, I already know you did, just respect me enough to tell me the truth. Instead, she went on a rant about how I'm trying to ruin her life, make everyone hate her, get her fired. I said, just tell me the name of a P. She told me the first name. D. I said, tell me his last name. She refused. She said, what will you do if you find out? I said I'll never do anything to her besides leave her. She asked what about him. I was so filled with anger at that moment that I said no promises for him. She then went into hysterics, crying, then grabbed her keys and ran out the front door. Drove off to God knows where, and I don't really care anymore either. Update 2. At some point I logged out of the Reddit account I used for that and lost the password. Oops. Now that some more time has passed, I've finally come to know the truth. God damn, the trickle truth is no joke. I have confirmed that she has been having an affair with a married man at her office. She threw up smoke and lies at every turn. I felt like I was losing my sanity. I knew there was more going on than what she said. She did a pretty good job of covering her tracks for the obvious stuff. She would only deny, deny, deny. She gave a name for a P, but it was fake. She said they never even met or kissed. I had to know the truth, so I started investigating myself. 
We've been together 12 years, so we know each other's email addresses. I know the kinds of passwords she has used for accounts we share, like Netflix and whatnot. First I tried guessing the password to her Outlook account, but no dice. Then I tried Facebook. The password was correct, but she had changed it within the last 30 days so I was denied. Finally, I tried the Google account. Bingo. People, if you use a Google account and worry about privacy, make sure that thing is locked the F down. It's incredible how much information is held there. The emails were obvious to check, but there wasn't too much there at first glance. They probably used other means to communicate. Cheating apps? Who knows? But there was a ton when I checked activity.google.com. There was a history there covered all of the things she had been googling over the last several months. Search questions, map destinations, travel sites, linked websites that share the Google account, like ChatGPT. There were searches like, what gift should I get my boyfriend for Valentine's Day, by the way she got me nothing that day, or red blood after rough sex, we haven't been intimate together in a while, so ugh. There were hotel bookings, one in Feb, one at the beginning of March, and a third hotel booked for this Friday. I checked the email and sure enough there were receipts for the bookings. Lingerie purchases. I checked chat GPT randomly, and there were numerous chats she was having with it about whether her new boyfriend really in love, about her being jealous of this man's wife. This man has a teenager, so she was talking to chat GPT about teenage personalities and being a parent. Asked if it was ethical to be in an affair. Okay then, treat chat GPT like your oracle. Then I checked the iPad. She had taken most of her electronics and stuff to her parents where she had been staying for a couple days, but she left behind the iPad I had given her for Christmas. I knew the pin because we left it on the coffee table and both used it. She had linked her Apple account to that iPad at some point, and the cloud photos had synced between the iPad and iPhone. I never cared or noticed before. I just used that iPad for a quick Google or to watch some videos. When I checked the photo history, it was current up to the 22nd of March 2024, which was a few days before D-Day. Those photos finally confirmed all of my worst nightmares beyond any doubt. For some reason she had screencapped multiple conversations with that guy that they had over the months. I'm still not sure why, but it was all there. Talking about all of the intimate things they have done or want to do to each other. Tramping about their respective partners. The dates they had been going on. The dates they went on were brutal to see. There were things I had suggested to her that we do together, that I saw pictures of her doing with him instead. Stupid stuff like axe throwing, but it felt like another knife to the heart. I could see them setting up a sleepover date as early as January, when she told me she had only just met him then. Now that I had a pretty good timeline and record of what was going on, when she came by the house I asked her again to tell me the truth about what happened. More lies. I started trickling out when I knew, and she eventually broke down and said they only slept together one time. She said she felt horrible after they had sex. I said I literally saw messages from her to him, saying how good the love making was. I said you had another damn sex sleepover planned for this Friday at the Hampton Inn. She got hysterical, it was all my fault. I never gave her the attention she craved. She has needs that I never met. I was a bad husband. I'm boring and never do anything. She had never cheated before, this isn't like her. Lots of crying, screaming, and hysterics. She said she still wanted to make things work with us. I told her to tell me who this man is, but she would only give a first name. She said they met when she started at her new job. He's a more senior employee that does project management things, which is what she wants to do, so I guess he impressed her with that. He is a married man with teenage kids. She said they were both hurt people in bad marriages that were helping each other get by. They would hang out at work, go for lunches together, and apparently on dates on the weekend. She refuses to give me the identity of this person. I told her she needs to tell his wife, and she refused. She says she doesn't want to cause more damage, but we both know it's fear. It is honestly driving me a bit mad not knowing who did this. She asked if we could still stay together, and if she could keep working there, along with him. I asked her if she was insane more hysterics, and then she took off back to her parents. This has been some of the worst pain I have ever been through in my life. Since finding out, I have been losing weight from not eating, barely sleeping, dealing with constant stomach pain. It was torture to read the things they said to each other, but it was good to see it at the same time. Without reading that, it's possible that my resolve might have softened and I might take her back. Even throughout all of this my heart still aches with the love I have for her, or at least the person I thought she was. I was always 100% committed during our relationship and never had eyes for anyone else. Thanks to everyone for the helpful advice I had read on this sub. Big update. Was going to make a new post, but I guess I would be spamming the sub.
Here it is. Thanks for the great suggestions yesterday. I hadn't even considered checking the iPad passwords, derp, and there were all sorts there. Turns out, however, that it wasn't needed in the end. As I was reading comments and checking potential people online, starting to narrow it down to a handful of individuals, my wife suddenly walked into the house. She had been messaging me pretty much non-stop about how upset she has been, how hard this is, doesn't want to let me go, and that she is completely finished with this guy. She came in and sat down, we talked. I reiterated the facts, and said I don't hate her but his wife needs to be informed. I said I will make it my life mission to let her know. She got upset again, said she doesn't want to hurt anyone then went upstairs to the bedroom and started getting showered and spiffed up. In the earlier posts when I said she had a hotel booked for this Friday, I actually had the dates mixed up. The check-in time was Thursday, and check-out was Friday. Also as far as I knew it hadn't been cancelled either, so now I was wondering if it was actually still on for tonight. I was waiting downstairs while she showered and cleaned herself up. She took a while to do her hair. When she came down I asked where she was going, and she set out to see a friend. I said I know you've still been talking to that guy, and that you're going to see him right now. She got quiet. She opened the door to leave, so I went for the nuclear option. I said if you don't tell me this man's name right now, I am going to contact every single person at your place at work and say that one of their employees may have been exposed to a sensually transmitted disease due to me. Her manager on LinkedIn has connections with pretty much everybody in their organization. I said I would go through the list and message all of them until I get this guy's contact info screaming and hysterics. This wasn't actually true or going to happen, but I had to keep the bluff going. She called my mom and asked if it was the truth. I said sorry for not telling you about the herpes mom. She raged at me for giving it to her and not saying anything. It felt like she was close to giving me the name now, but she still refused to relent and just say it. This is when my sister called on the phone and came in huge. She has been in bad relationships in the past and knows what it's like to be married at home taking care of the kids while your husband is out screwing around. She gave her the stone-cold facts about the situation, told her to woman up and start showing some courage and accountability. She said there is no way in hell she would ever want to be in a relationship like that and not know the truth. Finally, my spouse relented. She said this man's name. I quickly found his social media and info. He kept things pretty low profile, no images on his LinkedIn, his Facebook just has pictures of nature and other stuff. I found the website for his home business. I found the website for his wife's business. I contacted his wife. She answered when I called. I verified her name, her husband's name, place of work. She confirmed everything. I basically said this is going to be a lot. But your husband has been having an affair with my wife. I discovered this a couple of weeks ago and have been trying to reach you. If there is anything you would like to verify or see as proof, I have plenty which I can provide to you. She took my name and info. She sounded faint, and I don't blame her. I told her that I would be contacting her husband's place of work, because I feel like he used his senior role at the company to manipulate my wife, new employee, into sleeping with him. She got upset and said that she has a teenage daughter to worry about right now and not to do anything. I said your husband should have thought about that before he ruined multiple lives with his actions. I said I know you're a victim here too, but he needs to be held accountable. My life is shambles due to this man. I'll probably never have a house again. After the call was done, my wife raged and threw things around for a while. Said her life is over, the shame at work will destroy her. Grabbed a tool and acted like she was going to stab herself. She said this is all my fault, I'm a horrible person, POS, I made her do this, she wishes she never met me, I have a small joystick, etc. I had my mom on speakerphone during this, just in case she tried to say I attacked her or something. After a solid hour of rage, she got into her car and left. Not to her parents' house, and not really my concern or care anymore either. Yes I will be contacting a lawyer. Until last night there was still a part of me that didn't want to let go, but that's completely done now. I haven't actually contacted this guy's HR department yet. I was wondering how I should go about that. This is Canada, so infidelity won't get you fired. But if he was a senior employee there and she was just off probation, would that be a breach of ethics, rules? Bear in mind my wife is still protecting this guy, so she won't be reporting him to HR herself. In any case, I'm just glad the spouse at the opposite end has been informed. This idiot has already done a fine job of ruining his own life. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you really like our videos, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.